Hi everyone, Leanne here. I'm excited to share with you my fountain pen ink collection. I can already just tell that I have a thing for fall colors. I've got some Pilot Iroshizuku. In fact, most of my collection is Pilot Iroshizuku. And then I have three from Diamine. I've got a Platinum Carbon Ink, and then I have an Ackerman um, bottle as well. I've got my water here. I've got my eyedropper to get the ink. I've got a file, bread clips, and that I'll show you later. And I got my glass dip pen. So why don't we get started? And so what I have here, let me get this out, is Iroshizuku's Ama Iro. Uh, this is Fuyugaki and Sio Ro. Then here is Sukio, Takesumi, and Kompeki. And I've heard, I mean, Goule pens and like every YouTuber that I've seen, everyone has and everyone raves about the Iroshizuku Kompeki. So I definitely knew that I wanted to try um, this color in particular and it came in this sample set on, on jet pens. Then next I got um, these two pilot inks. I was watching Abby C's video on uh, her fountain pen ink collection and she talked about Iroshizuku's Inaho and also uh, Tsukushi. Then I also have the Diamine inks. The first one that I got was Writer's Blood. Then um, I got Ancient Copper because I got a, a sample of this from Goulet Pens and I loved it so much. It's currently in my Birmingham Model A in Jurassic Amber, and the color combination, the ink, and the pen, I loved it so much that I knew that I wanted to get um, a bottle, a small bottle of ancient copper. Um, then I also got Rider's Blood, and then I thought Oxblood is just kind of the happy medium between the two shades, because this is definitely more of like a, an orangish fall brown color, and then Rider's Blood is almost black, uh, and so then Oxblood is that, that, that burgundy tone that I also really enjoy. Then I got Platinum Carbon Ink. I watched a ton of videos on figuring out what sort of ink I should, which sort of black ink I should get. And it was really down to Platinum Carbon Ink or Diatramentis Archive or Document Ink. And I just thought I would get the Platinum Carbon. I did decide to get the Platinum instead of Diatramentis is because I do have a lot of Japanese pens. And so I thought that Platinum, because it's a Japanese ink company, uh, that they that they would um, work better with um, Japanese pens as well. But that was just my logic. I don't know if that's really founded. There's that. The Ackerman SBRE Brown. Saw this on a lot of YouTubers' videos as well. And I really do like how this brown has more of a warm tone. Uh, so I have that one there. And I think what's also really cool is just that marble feature. It reminds me of these Japanese drinks um, that I grew up drinking. It's called, I think it's Ramune. It's essentially a bottle that has a marble in the little tapered bottleneck area. And it just reminds me of that drink. So I thought it would be fun um, to get this, this ink bottle as well. Okay.
as I'm looking at these inks here drying, I'm so fascinated by Hirosh Hiroshizuku Tsukushi because it's brown, but it's got, it dries with like flecks of purple in there and there's a little bit of sheening. Um, and so I'm really impressed by Tsukushi and I really love it. Uh, and looking at it all here on display, I really enjoy ancient copper and ox blood. Writer's blood is really pretty, but I've noticed that when I write it with a fountain pen, it's so dark that it's hard to kind of distinguish the color sometimes. It comes out really dark um, on paper when I'm writing with my Pilot Metropolitan. So either I'm gonna try writing or using this ink in a broader nib so that you can see more of like the shading and maybe the lighter properties to it. But I really like Ox Blood. I really like Ancient Copper. This also actually reminds me of um, Noodler's, what is it? Um, Black Swans and Australian Roses. Maybe just more of like the lighter under the lighter parts, not the darker parts of the ink. So I think it'll be interesting to do a comparison between Writer's Blood and um, Australian Roses. Um, but I would have to say that I really enjoy Inaho and Tsukushi. This one, I've never played with it until today. I absolutely love the purple in it. And then Inaho just remains to be one of my favorites um, because it's got this olive green and then the darker when it shades, that brown is just gorgeous. Or any ink that I might do without. I mean, is it weird to say Kompeki that I could do without Kompeki? Because I have Amairo and I think when I write with Amairo, this color is actually what I was hoping Compeki would be because when I write with Compeki, it seems a little too dark, a little too dark blue for me. Um, but if I want a dark blue, I really enjoy Sukio. If I want something more green, the Sioro is really pretty. If I want uh, something more permanent that I can be able to um, take notes and use a highlighter and, and know that it won't bleed, I'm really happy with the Platinum Carbon Black. And then I think for just daily for just writing with the black ink. The Takesumi is just gorgeous. And I like the cooler undertones too. Well, let's see, I would definitely keep Takesumi, definitely keep Platinum Carbon Ink, Sukio, Sioro, Amairo, Sukushi, Inoho, what else? Oxblood and Ancient Copper. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, it was really fun to play with the inks. I've, I'm actually quite surprised that I didn't get more ink on my hands. But uh, it was really, really fun. And um, I appreciate you watching. Take care. Bye.